Understanding the phrase, don't get burned. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, don't get burned. This is a common expression in English, often used in various contexts. Understanding phrases like these can really help in grasping the nuances of the English language. So, let's dive in and understand what this phrase means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. The phrase, don't get burned, literally refers to avoiding physical contact with something hot, like fire or a hot surface, to prevent injury. This direct meaning is easy to understand. For example, if you touch a hot stove, you might get a burn, which is painful. So, when someone says, don't get burned, they might be literally warning you to be careful around something hot. In many cases, don't get burned is used figuratively. This means it's not about physical heat or fire, but rather about avoiding harm or negative consequences in different situations. For instance, if someone advises you to don't get burned in a business deal, they mean you should be cautious and not end up in a disadvantageous position. It's about being careful not to be hurt emotionally, financially, or socially. 1. In relationships, if your friend says, don't get burned, they might be advising you to be careful not to get hurt emotionally in a relationship. 2. In finance, in the stock market or in investments, this phrase can mean avoiding financial losses. It's a warning to be cautious with your investments. 3. In social situations, it might also be used to advise someone to be cautious in trusting people or in navigating complex social scenarios, where there's a risk of being betrayed or let down. When using this phrase, it's important to consider the context. If the situation is serious, your tone should be earnest. In casual situations, it can be used in a light-hearted way. Here's how you might use it. In a serious context, I know you're investing a lot in that company, but don't get burned. Do your research thoroughly. In a casual context, they are known for their pranks. Be careful at the party tonight, don't get burned. And that's a wrap on the phrase, don't get burned. Remember, understanding these phrases is not just about the words, but also about the context in which they are used. We hope this video helps you use this phrase confidently in your English conversations. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Stay curious, and see you in the next one.